All right, we're still in the evening of NCB FAA here in Fort Lauderdale, and I will say that it has been an active night. We've had dinner, we've had receptions, we've had all kinds of fun stuff. There's uh, in the other room, you may uh, hear in the background, they're doing a trivia contest right now. So folks are getting together, they're laughing, they're having a good time. Kurt here is, well, why don't you tell folks your position and your company and what your main focus is. Okay, thank you, Andy. Uh, my name is Kurt Napton. I'm CEO of Deep Cognition. We are a AI company, artificial intelligence company, focused on customs brokers and freight forwarders and bringing kind of new tech and a better, uh, newer way of doing things uh, to the industry. And I have seen Deep Cognition in several of the conferences, and I'm looking forward, you and I had talked off camera, that I'm looking forward to actually seeing your, the application of what you've got. But using AI technology, that's something that everybody has been hearing, and there's actual coding that's going into software and plug and play and, and different programs. I'm looking forward to seeing this, but you're an exhibitor now at the yeah. Brokers Association here. Uh, who's your target audience? Are you looking for the brokers, the freight forwarders, all of it, or, or just who? We're looking, pretty much everyone here is a target customer of ours. But I would say the specific customer are the customs brokers that are dealing with all the paperwork and all the detail and complexity, doing things by hand and doing it manual. Mm -hmm. And there's a better way using generative AI and the breakthroughs in that uh, whole area that everybody's been reading about with chat GPT and all these uh, new ways of, of doing things. Uh, we can save time, money, increase accuracy, and just it's, it's a great thing for the industry and the brokers themselves. So that's what we're exhibiting. We're, we're demoing our technology. We're talking to them and showing and telling. And like you've always said, Andy, like hype is one thing, but actually having real live case studies where there's testimonials of customers where it's made their life better. Uh, we're kind of at that place right now. We love telling our story. Well, that and that's the one thing, folks. We're going to get, uh, Kurt's agreed to be uh, on our show at, at some point here in the future. We're going to be talking about the actual stories, if you will, of uh, people using not only his uh, applications, but other AI uh, stories, you know, applications in, in real world. So that's the one thing. The one thing that I will say, Kurt, and I'm going to get your opinion on what, this is my opinion, and what I always say about AI, and that is that it's not something to take people's jobs it's going to make people more productive so that the those with the expertise can focus on what needs their expertise is that a good statement or am i full of beans here uh that's a great statement uh think of something like when the internet came there are a lot of people that thought oh the internet's changing everything about my world uh, should I adopt it? Should I not adopt it? Yeah, the internet has saved us time when we go find information and a lot of other things that's made our life easier, but it's created new opportunity and new skills and new productivity. So AI is a similar thing as to the internet. It's changing everything. It's something to embrace and kind of be amazed by, and it's something to kind of put into practice. So I, I believe that it's gonna produce more economic opportunity in America and around the world than ever before. But it's it's one of those things where people need to learn about it, keep up with it, and, and figure out how can I use it and incorporate it into my business and my life. And so that's why we like telling our story. And I, we're very excited about the future with AI. And that's something that is very important to consider is that us old fogies, if you will, trying to get AI technology, we need to embrace it and we need to look at the change and adapt with it and not be scared of it. So with that, folks, this is uh, Andy Shiles with Simply Trade. Keep watching us and uh, we'll hopefully keep you up to date on what's going on. <music>